It's hard to believe, but in this land of plenty, some families do not get enough to eat. Oftentimes, their kids are forced to depend on the kindness of strangers when it comes to eating lunch at school, and that can lead to a host of other problems. The president of Alabama Credit Union, Mr. Steve Swafford, is here to tell me more about it. Steve, thank you so much for being with us today. Daddy, it's a pleasure to be here and glad to talk a little bit about Secret Meals. Sure. Tell us um, all about it. Well, let me start out by, by uh, talking a little bit about a contest we just had. Mm -hmm. uh, in light of the, uh, uh, the BCS National Championship game between Alabama and Notre Dame, uh, we engaged in a little friendly competition with the Notre Dame University Credit Union. Mm -hmm. uh, it was their idea. We were willing participants. And uh, uh, it was our idea to let th the proceeds of what of whatever the, the uh, spoils of victory were mm -hmm to go to a favorite charity, so Secret Meals was ours. The competition was which credit union could uh, gather the most credit card applications uh, over a period of time leading up to the game. Uh, and we were behind in the first quarter by 100 applications. Wow. But I am proud to say that our team is a fourth quarter team, and we <laughs> came back and we waxed them 358 oh. to 330. So as a result, Secret Meals is the uh, recipient of $10,000 which will feed 65 children for the school year. And um, as you know, Secret Meals is a program that feeds hungry children over the weekends during the school year. Uh, so many times these kids will, they'll have their, their school lunch on Friday, and a lot of times have very little to eat until they, they get to school on Monday morning for breakfast. So this uh, provides an anonymous food pack in their, in their backpack on Friday afternoon. And uh, Alabama Credit Union is, uh, funds this completely through contributions from uh, from members and people in the community and, and you know, fundraising ideas that our staff comes up with. Absolutely. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but, but this is done, the kids are given the, the meals in such a way to where uh, it, it, it's a secret. Correct. Uh, the other kids don't know. Right. And, and the kids that receive them don't get singled out on the playground and, you know, other, because you know how kids are, you're a oh, poor kid, you know, he's right. got to get the secret meal or whatever. It's not done in that way at all. That's correct. We don't, and our, our folks don't know who these kids are either. The teacher identifies them. They, they, they notice kids that might hoard food from lunch on Friday or, right. or, or ravenous, you know, at Monday morning. So as a result, they will just say, I got one more kid for this school. And, and so on that Friday afternoon, uh, the, uh, those food packs are delivered and one more will be provided for that extra student. So we're feeding statewide now about 1,500 children wow. and the commitment to uh, is close to $150,000 a year to do that. So it's a huge goal that we have to reach every year and uh, we'd, love to, we'd love for the public and your viewers to participate by, uh, by going to the secretmeals.org website and considering contributing. All right, super. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having us. You can find out more about Secret Meals by calling 205-348-5944 or online at secretmeals.org.